Guys, I hope you like and subscribe to this channel. Hey everyone and welcome back, honey. It has been a very full day. You could tell because I am super shiny. It is almost 11 o'clock and <laughs> it's been a full morning. Let me wipe some of this shine off my face. Man, I came in, I had to have a meeting with two teachers and I went well, and then I had scheduled, like, why did I do that to myself? Feedback sessions back to back, and that was like, whoop, let me not overwork myself like that again. And then, of course, you know, there's just issues when kids come back from a, from the weekend. Bottom line, it was a Monday. I barely made it to work on time. I really believe that Jesus stopped the clock just for me. I know y'all like, just for you? Yes. Because I honestly, God, I don't know how I made it to work on time. I got here with five minutes to spare and uh, quite a few folks was calling in and letting us know it was very bad accidents on the highway. So I, I don't, I honestly don't know. I left the house late and um, the Lord let me know. I did you a favor this time. Don't try this again. Let's not make this a habit. And I have a short day because I have to go to the doctor, you know, and mm, how can I put it? I don't mind going to the doctor because I have a doctor that is honest and truthful. And I don't like that jovial doctor like, mm, and crack jokes. I Just give me the truth. But I have to face that dreaded scale that I, I just want to live in denial just a little bit longer. But um, I have to take care of my health. And it was so funny because over Thanksgiving break, I was with my sister in love and my cousins. And uh, one of them, uh, two of them are in the medical profession. And they were cracking up because... The weird stuff that we, some of us do when it's time to get on that scale. Like one of my sister in laws she was saying that she has one foot that hovers over the scale to shed off some pounds. And I was like, what in the world? But then my cuckoo bird self, and I know I got on this lady's nerves because I took off my blazer. I took off my earrings. Like that weighs 50 pounds. And I know that nurse was looking like, really, ma'am? your whole blazer and, and, and earrings. And I took off my watch, like, ooh, that weighs so much. <laughs> and it was like the stupid stuff that we do because the scale uh, care, doesn't care about your feelings, it tells you the truth. And I need to hear it. So I know I'm gonna get fussed at, but I, as you all know, I'm making some changes. So I'm thinking of this new plan. This week, I'm getting my eating, my, a healthy breakfast and a healthy lunch, and I'm gonna try to do better on my dinner. Y'all see that tonight. So I'm the only one in my family that has a weight issue. My husband and my kids, y'all seen them. They're fine. So I'm going to start making me an alternative meal, something healthier. So my week one before the holidays, I'm going to get focused this week on eating right. Week two, I'm going to make sure that I get the exercise in and I haven't decided on what week three will be, but I'm on a step-by-step -step plan because um, as the people uh, tell you on the airplane, put your ox oxygen mask on first. So let me show you all what I've had. I got to get one out the trash can. So I'm trying to do the high protein diet because I was watching this lady on YouTube and she said she lost 50 pounds doing this. So I started off this morning with the protein shake. Boom, 30 grams of protein, put that in the trash. I had my coffee, but I drank, um, not drank, I added almond milk in there so it won't be so full of, um, you know, heavy cream or anything. It did not taste quite the same, but I still like that warm bite that you have with the espresso. And I um, sweeten it with monk fruit. Monk fruit is a little bit on the expensive side, but I know I can't go cold turkey to uh, stevia. It has an aftertaste. Oddly enough, I can drink it when it comes to like crystal light, but I can't do it when it comes to coffee. It just doesn't taste good. Then in my lunch bag, I am very proud of myself because I bought the Quest Bars. That's one of my snacks and it has 21 grams of protein. Um, for lunch, I bought some tomato soup that I made myself. And then my mother, hold on y'all, let me show you this. Turn me on to the Activia fiber. So that could be one. And then I also got the light and fit yogurt. And as you can see here, it has 12 grams of protein and only 
80 calories. Sorry, y'all. It was in the refrigerator. So that is going to be my snack, breakfast, and lunch today. And of course, I have my uh, canister of water, and I'm going to try to drink at least two. I was shooting for three, but I'm going to be realistic and say two. So, um, yes, so the day has been full. So I leave here early today. I'm going to leave here around two o'clock because it takes about an hour now to get home due to bad traffic. And I'm one of those old school people. I like to freshen up before I go to the doctor. So that is what I'm going to do. It is now 11 o'clock. I need to make some runs around this building. But baby, the building has been on fire and in um, an interesting way. Not all of it has been good, but an interesting way. But let me show you all my outfit. I wore this to church. I wore my new dresses to church first. And then I wear them to work because, you know, I say my best for the Lord. But this is one of the dresses I told you all about that I bought from Walmart. It's part of the Eloquy um, design and it's really cute. I'm going to show you what I mean. One second. So this is the dress. You see it's below the knee. It's almost to uh, my calf. It comes in and gathers in the waist, so I feel a little snatched here, and it flows out over my problem area of my tummy. And so for 40 bucks, this is made by um, the Eloquy line, and I got it from Walmart. And so if you're interested, I will go over there now because it looks like they're selling out pretty quickly. Back up so y'all can see my face. So this is what I was referring to. So it's cute. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, tell me what the problem is. Okay, what could you have done differently in this situation? If you were the teacher, how would you have reacted? Now, are you expecting perfection from your teacher? Now, does your teacher expect perfection from you? So what could have been done instead? So therefore, are you going to forgive and move on, or you want to hold on to an attitude and look mean? You ready to forgive? I think that's mighty big of you because no one's perfect and sometimes people make mistakes. I will talk to her and let her know that it was not you. But I need you to go in there with a great, did you hear that too? Great what? Attitude. That is what I want to hear. All right, we're going to relax for a few minutes because it is time for lunch. In fact, you'll have lunch at 1 o'clock and then we'll move on, okay? Okay, guys, as you can see here, this is my living room. Well, the family room. And this is where we just come up here to play games, watch movies, and chill. So I have a more fun, festive vibe up here because my kids were like, no, we want to decorate. So that's what we did. So let me show you around. Okay, guys, you see here, this is my beautiful Santa. This Santa is literally over 25 years old. It is animated, but I honestly, I really do my best not to run it very often because quite frankly, I'm afraid that it will no longer work and I wanna hold on to it as long as possible. And behind that, let me get a little close-up shot, is my pre-lit poinsettia. And this is the, what is it? The end table to my sofa. So this is the pre-lit poinsettia and then an up-close version of my infamous Santa Claus. Love it. This is my coffee table. These are some Martha Stewart um, houses with the pre-lit candles. And I love it because I must say the battery life on those candles lasts a quite a long time. So I'm going to scroll up and you see our bookshelves. And you should probably see my reflection in the TV screen. And I'm going to scroll over and you see my Christmas tree. And this is also my husband's home office now that my mom lives with us, that we're very happy to have her. And I'm going to show you all an up-close look of the bookshelf. So let me walk towards it. And I have had this little girl forever. This is over 10 years old. And as you can see, upstairs, we did the traditional colors of red, white, and green. And so here are our bookshelves. And then we had um, some Christmas angel stockings. And so we put that down as well. And then I have, oh, that's leaning, but that's okay. My baby is still there. And I have my toperies inside Christmas hats. And then you see here, we have some little um, canisters with the poinsettias on here. And there's the mate to my Christmas bear. And then inside of this particular bookshelf, we have um, some reindeers, a mini Christmas tree, some decorative ornaments, of course, the nutcracker, a snowman, and yeah, over here we have the reindeer 
And what else do we see? Another reindeer set. And then here is my Christmas tree. And I am just in love with it. So you see we have our little elves, our Santa. What is this? The Nutcracker, some more Santas. Um, what else? Oh, we got the Noel Angel. I'll turn this one around. Another, uh, this is a choir angel. And of course, all kinds of cool felt Santas. And um, if you saw my previous video, you know I bought those from Target. I really do my best to get stuff off season. And then we already have some gifts from my relatives in the UK. Hey, my sister in love, can't wait to see you all soon. And then I add some Christmas pillows on the ground and I'm gonna step back because we use those, of course, during movie night. So let me pan around. And then you will see our couches with the wreaths hanging in the window. And then the other couch with some holiday flair. This side, we have Mrs. Claus and my basket of teddy bears that matches the theme of the teddy bear stockings that you see here. And what's on this side? I don't think we really have any holiday because it's my husband's work. And we have a poinsettia in the back, another closet with the wreath. And then on this side, these are my kids' bedroom, my mom's room. And what else is over here? Uh, the bathroom, hello. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Let me turn on the light. And then we added some wreaths, and you see my snowman theme again hanging from the doors. And so, yeah, quite a bit of holiday cheer upstairs. I forgot to tell you all, I got good news from my doctor. I'm on the right track, so I'm going to continue down that path. So my kids and my husband are going to eat some leftovers from Sunday's dinner, and I am about to cook. Um, a feta dip with which is just feta grilled shrimp and tomatoes and I'm gonna eat that over arugula and I'm gonna show you what that is in one sec But now I want you all to see the grilled, well not grilled, roasted shrimp and the feta dip. And as you can see, it's hardly any calories. And I'm gonna serve that over a bed of arugula. One second. So as you can see, this is melted feta, garlic, roasted shrimp and tomatoes on a bed of arugula with garlic, olive oil and salt and pepper and a little bit of Old Bay. And boom, you don't even have to have salad dressing. It is a warm dish, so you really feel like you're eating dinner, but it's low in calories. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This concludes Vlogmas Day 3, and I hope you like and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. And until the next time, I wish you lots of joy and, of course, many blessings. Bye, guys.